Hi guys, and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, I've had a great question uh, from a guy called Bob, and he's been watching one of my videos. In one of the previous videos, we set the the background color when we scroll from one of our menus to a different color. You see it's scrolling gray there when we scroll, the background color's going gray. And his question was, when he goes to a, a separate page, he wants that gray color or whatever color he has there to be a different color, but he still wants it to be the gray color on one of the pages, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the question you're asking there, Bob. So. It's pretty easy to do. Um, we've got to just examine the HTML a little bit. So let's do that. Let's go to our customizer. I'm just hitting the little dashboard icon and going down to theme customizer. I'm going to hit my middle button to open it in a new tab. So here we go. And as we can see, We've set it to when it scrolls to get that gray color there. Now let's say we want this page for argument's sake to have a, a red background when we scroll instead of that gray background. Well, first we need to find out the element that's doing that. So let's scroll it so you've got your color up there and then right click and inspect. I'm using the Chrome browser here that's got those great inspector tools on there. And That's it right there. Just change it to make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Let's just make it red. Yeah, so that's changed that color. That's great. Okay, so that's the right element that we're targeting there, which is elegant themes, ET, fix header, menu header. So let's just copy what we've done there, including that red. I'll just use this for an example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste that into a notepad quickly. There it is, because I'll be using that in a moment. Now what we need to do, because we only want it to be targeting this page right here, is find out what the page ID is. I can see it right here, actually. It's page ID 44. If you can't see that, just right click up on the top of your page here and hit Inspect. And when we go down, there's the body tag, and usually it'll be just after that. So it's page ID 44. So I'm just going to double left click on that so I can copy that bit. Now I'm going to hit Control C to copy. Back in my notepad here, I'm going to put this just before the dot on ET fixed. There, there we've got it right there. I'm going to put a little gap in there, and I'm going to put a dot on the front or period, or whatever you like to call it. So let's now go to our custom CSS and paste this in there and see what happens. Control C to copy. And you can do this in your options. I'll just get rid of that inspector. Divi theme options, custom CSS, all right here in the customizer with additional CSS. And I'm just gonna paste it in the top. I'm not gonna give it a title because I'm probably not gonna keep it. But this is just a test site, so it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to hit Control V to paste that in there. And hit Publish. All right, so if we go back up to the top, nothing. Now when we scroll, that should be red. But if we go back to another page, it should be the old gray color. There we go, that one's still gray. So I hope that makes sense to you there. Let's do it on another page. And all we're going to do to get this working on another page, let's just make sure it's actually doing what we want to. Well, there's not enough info here to scroll on that page. Let's try this page. 
there we are there's a home page let's do it on this one and again i'm just going to hit i'm still in the customizer here hit the inspect f12 or just right click on the element that you want to change or go down to the body let's find out here we are page id 39 so let's just copy this bit of code that we've got we just put in here control c drop down a couple control v and what was it page body page id 39 so all i need to do to change this page is just change that bit of code there 39 let's have a different color let's put black in for this one and hit publish now when i scroll this has got a black background let's go to this one can't remember what it had did it had, it had the original gray background there we go and then our this one that we did i think that had the red background there we go back to the home and of course you can put in any color you want to then and we've published that let's go back to our site that i've got open here and just do a quick refresh Now we're on the V slider page, so that should be gray. Yep. Home page. This one should be black. Yep. And one page, this one should be red. And you can you can target your menu background colors here and do the same thing if you want different colors on pages it's exactly the same thing let's have a look see what we've got here top header so let's just copy this and we're doesn't really matter what color I use here. I'm just going to paste it in our notepad. I don't need this anymore. Let's paste it over that. Let's make that black, which is zero, zero, zero. Well, it's actually six zeros, but with CSS three, you only need to put three in if it's six of the same. Okay. And let's, what page do we want to target? Well, let's target this page as well. And our page, is page ID 44, double left click, select, copy, now I can't remember what the score is, I don't think I want both colors black, do I don't know, let's have a look, now that's red so that'll work fine, I was just thinking if I had that the black one you wouldn't, it, it would be too much black, but it's a demo so it doesn't matter, <laughs> okay so back to our tag and put in then page ID put a dot in front of it dot page ID top header let's put this in our custom CSS control C to copy and let's put it just below where we've just done it, it really doesn't matter there we go and publish that Now I can't remember which page it was. So we're on the home. It's got a black one. Video slider. Got the red one. No, the gray one. So this next one, when I click on it, it should have a black nav bar or, or background to the our header up here. There it is. And it's black. And when we scroll, I believe it should be red. So there you go, that's how you can change the different colors for your nav bars and also for when you're scrolling for the scrolling color for your menu items. If you wanted to do this one, just select this one and do it and it'll be the same process. So Bob, I hope that's answered your question.
Um, and for anybody else that's watching, watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you found it useful, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, we've got some great free courses down below. There's also some premium courses down there that have got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay.